mighty hunter. <laughs> Did you see the rack? Your license is for a cow elk, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's like you got a little over anxious. <laughs> That's a crying shame is what that is. Well, let's just, let's just pull back up the truck and we'll haul it out again. Oh, you don't want to do that. That's a $3,000 fine, at least. Oh, we, we can't just leave it here. Whoa! Bravo Saul! It's a miracle! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? It's gonna die sooner or later. I'm not gonna let it suffer. Well, let it go! <laughs> We're not waiting! Bo? Slacker? I'm uh, very, very sorry about your mother. I don't see why we had to go to this dumb funeral anyway. Well, unfortunately, without any known relatives, we can't keep you together. So uh, after we pick up your things, I'll be dropping Brock off at uh, Mr. and Mrs. Flegels. And Akira, I'm afraid you're going to have to spend the night at the center. We don't need anyone else. I can take care of Brock. I've been taking care of him. The law is clear, Kira. You're not old enough to be his guardian. And considering the matter your mother died, I don't do drugs, Mr. Polson. That was my mother, not me. It's the environment. And where Brock already has a juvenile record. <laughs> then we'll move. I'll get a job. I'm not sure you're ready for any of that. We won't be separated. Please, I'm begging you. And you really have uh, no idea how to contact your father. My father left when I was five. Brock doesn't even remember him. Well, I'm sorry, Kira. Maybe, maybe in the future we can arrange for a, a permanent household together. Can you guarantee that? Probably be a little while, so why don't you just meet us back here later? Hey, Kira! 
Are those people dangerous? Only the strangers. We'll be fine, I promise. Besides, my sister has had six years of kickboxing. Yeah. All, all right, all right, all right. I, I will give you uh, one hour, but be ready. You're going. But all my friends are here. Don't you get it? You're going to foster home. You're not going to see them anyway. Or me. Is that what you want? For them to separate us? Because that's what'll happen. Maybe forever. I hate them. Feel it. Mom's all tore us. I'm just pray it's done. It's done. We could end up on opposite sides of the map. And nobody cares, trust me. Consider us wards of the state now. My mom doesn't need much of anything. I have a whopping total of eighty-seven dollars and forty cents. What are you doing here, Spree? My sister will freak. Bad news, Brock. I'm quitting the gang. Quitting? Yeah. You and I are brothers, right? Yeah, sure, Spree. Okay, hey, because I need you to take care of something for me. Oh, okay. Well, what's in it? Never mind. I know Pekin got it. Sure, Spree, but I mean, we're, we're leaving tonight. Where? I, I don't know. Someplace out of town. Perfect. You eat doubled ham? No. Yes, you will. You just call me when you get to wherever you're going. All right, but I don't hey, know when. Hey, that doesn't matter. Okay? You just call me. Okay, yeah. See, I knew we were brothers. How many cars we spring together? Like ten? Fifteen? Three. Do not lose this. Okay, I'm trusting you. Hey, Kira. Wow, you're looking fine. How'd you get in here? Well, I just... You broke into my house? I was just saying goodbye to the kid. Get out. All right, I'm going. Now! No goodbye kids? Hey, I'll call you. No, he won't. Get out of here, Spree. Okay, brothers, partners, don't forget. Okay, okay. Hey, shut up down there! Don't ever talk to my brother again. I told you she wasn't making payments. What am I supposed to do? Hi! We need to go. Please. Oh, this is too hilarious. Any sis. I'm so proud. I think I might start to cry. Quiet. I'm not proud at all. <laughs> oh, no, not now. Well, look who's here. Let it out, man. <laughs> what, Lowe? Stay right, you. Yours? Get out of our way, Hitch. What's your problem, honey? What are you always tripping for? Yo, Brock, what up, Essay? Nothing, Hitch. Where's your flag, Holmes? Wrapped away. Packed. This is your symbol, Essay. You should be flashing it proud. Move your funeral wagon, please. That hurts. You rolling out, Kira? Hmm? Going on a trip? As long as it's away from you. I was real sorry to hear about your mom's passing. Such a good customer. I swear I'll drive right over it. Hey. You seen Spree? No, Hitch. Hmm, you sure? We've been looking all over for him. I need to talk to him. I really do. Get your hands off my car. <laughs> Always dripping, Mommy. There's no way to be talking to your guardian angel. Such a pretty thing. Sometime you may be needing a little 
protection. Touch me. I could help you, Mom. Watch over you. Huh? Especially when you're gonna be out so late at night. I said huh? don't. Hey, I touch what I want, when I want. You in my neighborhood now, Mommy. Okay? Let me catch. Right. Hey, 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 they're stealing my car. They, they just stole my car. Does anybody have a phone? I gotta call the police. Does, does anybody have a... I really like the shoes, bro. Those are some nice pants. Things don't look too good for you, man. <laughs> Taxi? <laughs> Can't believe you did that. Things are mighty mellow. Lights are crimson yellow tonight. Gazing across the mountains, golden skies, eternal fountains, floating fire. Are you gonna tell me where we're going now? Utah. Utah? What's in Utah? Relatives. I thought you said we didn't have any relatives. Yeah, well, these are from, from our dad's side of the family. Our dad's side? I haven't seen him since I was like five or six. You've gotta be kidding. Why in the hell don't use that kind of language? It's just a visit, it's not permanent. Besides, they might even help us. Help us how? And besides, you use that language all the time. Not anymore. Since when? Since I started taking care of you. Don't say it. I wasn't. Don't say I wasn't. it. The like the thing that's so eluded once a day. people help us. I've never even heard of them. How come we've never met them? That's because mom didn't like them. They're Mormons. Huh? You've never heard of Mormons. So are they like gypsies? Not exactly. Well, are they like guys that shave their heads and go, um... <laughs> no, but they're weird in other ways. They don't smoke or drink beer or coffee, and they're always praying. Praying? <clears throat> Oh, and they always have to have a year's supply of food. Where do they put it? I think they bury it. They think the end of the world could come at any time. I went on Sunday. If they don't eat breakfast or lunch, don't worry. They'll eat enough at dinner to make up for all three meals at once. Weird. Look, they're the only relatives we got, and our only hope until I figure out what we're gonna do. I don't want you making fun of them. Me? How could you think I'd do such a thing? Gee. I wonder. Turn your face to the So this is it? Yep, this is it. I've never seen a town this small before. You've gotta be kidding me. Are you sure you're not lost? I'm not lost. Trees. What was that? I don't know.
What's wrong? I saw something. Saw what? I don't know. Bigfoot. No, Sasquatch. Oh wait, I forgot. Sasquatch is in California. Are you kids lost? Hello, Aunt Corinne. I'm Kara. I'm your niece. Kara. Oh, my word. Oh, oh my word. Kara. Did she just say that she was my cousin? Yeah, too bad for you. Um, our mom got a new job in Florida. So Brock and I are on our way there to join her. You're traveling by yourselves? Sure. Yeah. I mean, we do it all the time. All the time. Well, that's just fine. <laughs> Looks like you'll be a few days late. I'll have Skyler look at your car. If he can't fix it, we may have to go into town. If I can't fix it, nobody can fix it. When is your mother expecting you? A few weeks. Weeks? A few weeks? Uh, days. I meant days. Days. I see. Well, tonight you're staying here. Skylar, Tiankum, why don't you help bring in their luggage? Remember me? Natasha? <laughs> I do remember you. How about me? Sherilyn. Sherilyn? I think last time I saw you, you were a baby. <laughs> Why don't you girls show Kara where she'll be sleeping? I'll go get your uncle from the orchard. Tessa, you watch the banana bread. Coulter, Sarai, get the cats off the table. Come on, baby girl. Let's go get daddy. Oh. Oh, so yes, we get the cats off the table, huh? Where do you want it? Oh, here. She can have my bed. Oh, no, that's all right. I'm fine over here. Oh, <laughs> sure got bigger since I saw you last, Skylar. Yeah, so have you. Hey, I got a friend that would really like to meet you. In fact, I've got a lot of friends oh, that would probably now. like to meet you. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kira. Mm. I can't believe you're here. You're so beautiful. Oh, that is not true. Oh, don't even. <laughs> Do you have a lot of boyfriends? Nope. No boyfriends. Oh, you have to tell us everything about California. Do you know any movie stars? Hey, I'm asking the questions. Do you know any movie stars? Afraid not. <laughs> hey, did you still talk to that Donnie kid? Who? Kid Donnie, your imaginary friend. Oh, that's what I remember most about you. You used to spend hours talking to him. Yeah, well, I made all that up. Well, duh. It's not like I thought you believed he was real. Like Donnie the kid? Was he a cowboy? Oh, no, he was a boy. A magical boy, right, Kira? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Did, did I make you uncomfortable? No, it's fine. It's just, it's just been such a long time since I've thought about any of that. It used to make people upset. <laughs> no way. I thought it was wonderful. It made me want my own imaginary friend, someone to play with me and protect me like yours did. Nah, didn't really matter. I got frightened anyway. Frightened? What frightened you? The usual dark closets, bumps in the night. The whistlers. Whistlers. Sherilyn, you don't know what you're talking about. You haven't heard a whistler in your life. I have so. She's lying. No one's heard them in practically forever. No, no, I, I remember. The Whistlers. Oh, it's been so long. You really don't hear them anymore? <sighs> no, not since I was really little. Mom doesn't like us to talk about it. She said that scares the little kids. Well, she says it's the wind blowing through the hollow, just right, like holes in a flute. Yeah, but why did it stop? No one knows. So you heard them? What did it sound like? You just said you'd heard them. Well, I did. I was just... <laughs> okay, so I never heard them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Sometimes at night, or, or in the early morning, I'd hear, like, whispers or a humming. Grandpa Lee says the hollow is full of ghosts. Surely. Great. Five minutes in this house, and she already thinks we're a bunch of wackos. I used to play in those woods all the time when I was a little girl. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> That's amazing, because none of us will play in there for anything. 
Are you sure you've never seen any movie stars? You have a Sly for the Sky Dragon, first edition? It came in the original pack. My mom only bought me one. One pack? And it had this? Is it a good one? Oh, well, uh, not, not really. I mean, I have better ones. Maybe later we could, uh, make a trade? Daddy! 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 Well, hello! I'm Soraya. Oh, yes. Soraya, my little one. Oh, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, too. Oh. <laughs> I'm Tessa. Tessa, hello! Honey, this is Brock. Brock, my boy, how are you? No, honey, Brock's your nephew. He's uh, Chris's boy, Chris and Delia. You remember Delia from California? Delia, of course. Is that banana bread I smell? I left the other loaf in because the fish is not going. Kara's here, Dad. Oh, well, hello, Kara. Hello, Uncle Kara. Kara is Brock's sister. She's your niece. Well, that's wonderful. Welcome. Are you staying for dinner? They're both staying for dinner. They're both staying for a couple of days. Oh, fantastic. Mi casa su casa. That's Spanish. Do you know what that means? Yeah, actually. It means that my house is your house. Uh, although I'd appreciate it if you, you left, left the family, the family China. China. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Later. It's your turn, Soraya. There are only five things we for this day. For my kids and horses and my Barbies. And what's the food? Not yet. And for Brock and what was her name? Kara. And for Kara, hope they can visit us again. Hope that we can set a good example like Mommy says. Hope our car gets better. Hope that we don't find out they're in trouble of the law. And bless the food of the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Pass the cucumbers, please. Thank you. I can't take it, Kira. What's wrong with these people? What's wrong with the dad? Uncle Drew was injured. Same summer our parents split up. It's an accident in a machine shop. A metal rod hit him or something. So is he like a zombie? <laughs> of course not. He still runs a big farm. Peaches, almonds, watermelon. It just affected his memory. Affected it how? It affected his short-term memory. My dad can remember things from a long time ago. He just can't remember what happened yesterday or even an hour ago. So, has it gotten worse? Mm, it's about the same. He remembers me and Skylar best, but the little kids, they have to remind him. Every single day? Well, they're used to it. <laughs> My dad just loves everybody, and everybody loves him. It's funny, I suppose, but kind of cool, too. Well, good night. It's weird, wigged out, schizoid. This whole family is schizoid. Don't sweat it. We won't stay long. They know something's up. They'll turn us in. I don't think so. And besides, right now, we've got nowhere else to go. I'll steal another car. No. No more of that. Ever. We want to go home. To what, Brock? There's nothing for us there. These people are hicks. <laughs> no PlayStation, no Xbox. Oh, I'm going insane! Are you finished? No. <laughs> Stop it. We'll be okay. We can survive a few days. No, we can't. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Oh, I guess we should call their mother. Who? Call whose mother? Kira and Brock's. They say she doesn't have a phone yet. Even if I could call her. What do you mean? Why couldn't you? I don't know. I don't want to muddy the waters. I want to enjoy my niece and nephew while I can. You still blame her, don't you? I guess I do. I do blame Delia. My brother didn't abandon his family, you know that. Now, Corinne, we never had any proof. She did it, Drew. Or if not, she knows who did. She 
got away with murder all these years. A lot has changed. Ten years ago, a flash flood washed through here, and that's when it stopped. Your Grandpa Lee. Yep. And you must be Sakira, the little girl who used to live in these woods like a woodland fairy princess. You frightened me. <laughs> I do that a lot. Your grandmother told me I did that to her all the time. God rest her. I was coming down the driveway. I saw you enter the woods. I figured this is where you were headed. No one's called me Sakira in forever. Now, your father named you that. Little cherry blossom. Japanese, I think. So how did you know this is where I'd be headed? Because I was usually the one that was sent out to search for you. And I found you here more than once. What did you mean that's when it stopped? What stopped? Uh, the sound of the whistlers. Shadows that flit and scurry through the woods. Voices and spirits of the dead. Floods a few years back must have thrown things out of kilter somehow. I don't understand. That's because I'm trying to make it sound as spooky as I can. How am I doing? I remember sitting here for hours when I was a little girl, watching you carve your violins or mixing up your uh, secret recipes for amber varnish. Got something to show you. My master creation. I did it. The great ones would be so proud. Veneri. Mati, even old Stradivarius, that's his varnish. Lost to the world for 300 years. Want to know the secret? What? Look, right, right here. Holiness to the Lord. <laughs> Just giving credit where credit is due. Beautiful. Think so? One of the most beautiful sounds I've ever heard. Most folks would say it's just another violin. 
But you hear it. You have the gift. You always did. Even when you were little, you could hear things, feel things. Few others could. And it's that gift that draws you into those woods. You think I'm drawn there because of a gift? These woods are a very special place, an ancient place. The Indians knew it. They were still coming here to pray when I was a kid. <sighs> I can't explain it. Maybe it's the fault line that runs through here, or a combination of things, but it's all pulled together right there. Everything that's ever happened on this continent, history, voices, prophets have said this land was once home to a noble people. Prophets have said. Nephi and Moroni, Brigham Young, Joseph Smith, Mormon prophets. Oh. But you can feel it too, right? You can feel their presence like echoes in time. Oh, sometimes I can feel it too. I better be going. Thanks for the cocoa. It is beautiful. Sometimes I can feel it too. Senile old buzzard. There's none in here. Where you going, Spring? Come here. Where you going? And the pictures here. <laughs> hey, where is it, Holmes? Where's what? What are you talking about? You must think I'm pretty stupid, huh? 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 You think I'm stupid? Huh? Huh? Well, you disappoint me. You disappoint me. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 Hitch, 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 anytime. Hitch. Was Samuel in the Book of Mormon and Nephi or a Lamanite? Duh, he was a Lamanite. Everyone knows that. Missed another one. My turn. Okay, you're gonna need a new alternator and a new carburetor. <laughs> Maybe a respirator. <laughs> Was it expensive? Hello. Mrs. Whitman? Speaking. Uh, my name is Carson Paulson. I'm with the California Welfare and Family Services. We're looking for your niece and nephew, Kira and Brock McConnell. Your name wasn't listed in their files, but we did some digging and... Are they in trouble? Uh, yes, I, I'm afraid so. They stole a car, Mrs. Whitman, and uh, uh, escaped our custody. There's a, there's a warrant out. Now, I know the children are upset since their mother's death, but... These are serious charges. Delia's dead? Y yes. I, oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought sure you'd... Uh, uh, the, the children were in the state's custody, and I just hoped maybe you'd seen or heard from them. It, it's possible that... They I have to go. Mrs. Whitman? Mrs. <laughs> Hey. I thought he'd forgotten how to be a kid. You probably haven't had much of a chance to be a kid yourself, have you, Kira? Just lucky, I guess. The way things work out, the way things are. But, you know, if the way things finally turn out, we all have a say in that. We, we do, God willing. I'm not very religious. Perhaps you just need something worth believing in. My dad was a Mormon, right? Now, Kira, you may have been told a lot of things, but your dad loved you. He loved you so much. Hey, and I was wondering if you, uh, if you knew of any jobs for the summer, I mean. Perhaps. What about Florida? My mom's not quite settled. I'm sure it would be fine. Look, Kara, I will help you. In the, any way I can. I'll be there for you. I, I will. Thanks. Hey, where's Brock? 
upstairs. I thought you two were playing. We were. He won all my cards. He what? All my Yu-Gi-Oh, all my Pokemon. He won them all. <sighs> Give them back. Give what back? You know very well what I'm talking about. I can't believe you took advantage of your cousin. Oh, how was gonna give him back anyway? Here. Is this all? Yeah, practically. Don't lie to me. Is this all or not? I'll, I'll even throw in one or two of mine. Is this all or isn't it? Hey, I won his cards fair and square. I deserve to keep at least one. Give it. You'll give him one of yours to replace it, whichever one he chooses. I hate you! I hate you! The epicenter, as far as reports seem to suggest, was just northeast of Leeds, Utah. Fifteen miles north of St. George. No damage has yet been reported. This is the first time we've had a quake. No damage that I can see. We'll check it again at Once first light. Again, the earthquake okay. 4.9? 4 4 That's nothing. It didn't feel like nothing. Northeast of Leeds, it's almost right under us. Oh, real earthquake? That is so cool. St. George area. Power is reportedly knocked out in Leeds and uh, in Silver Reef. Whistlers.
trespass. What are you doing here? It's dangerous. You don't belong here. This is private property. It's no one's property. Who are you? Corinne and Drew's niece. Who? The McConnells. They live right through there, and if they knew you were here, you'd get a rear end full of buckshot. Right through where? Look, I won't ask you again. I'll just go back and, and call the cops. Come any closer, and I'll take your head off. I'm warning you. Why are you dressed so strangely? <sighs> Have you seen a mirror? What is your name? What is your tribe? <laughs> I'm just gonna go home now, okay? I'll leave you here to play your Aztec, Apache. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them. A Gadianton! Just like them to send a woman spy. Look, I swear I don't know what you're talking about. Then what is your tribe? What is your name? Sakira! Sakira? It's me. Skidona. Sakira! Sakira! She just showed up. Kira? Kira? Are you all right? Yes, Ekarin. I'll be out in a minute. All right. Breakfast is ready. Eggs. The quake didn't crack a single one. I'll be right down. The only structural damage was in Silver Reef, where one home reported a new crack in the driveway. There are also reports. I heard them when I woke up. Why am I always the only one? Did you hear them, Kara? Did you hear the whistlers? That's enough. After last night, everybody's frightened enough without stirring up that nonsense. Where were you? I went for a walk. You weren't here when Uncle Drew left for work. I was worried. Sorry. Do you see any cracks in the driveway? I didn't notice. But in the woods, there was this sort of long crevice in the ground. Hey! Grandpa! Grandpa! Look who's here. <laughs> that was my little Soraya. Oh. Just wanted to make sure everyone is all right. We're fine. Have you had breakfast, Dad? Oh, don't mind if I do. Hey, Grandpa, some geology guys are coming today. They think the epicenter was right in the middle of our hollow. Yeah, they're coming to survey the area. How do you know? They called 30 minutes ago. I have to go. You haven't eaten. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not hungry. I, I'll be back. You're back. It is you, isn't it, Sakura? You've grown up. I visited here a thousand times after you stopped coming. Why? Why did you stop coming? I moved away. I couldn't come. I chose this as my post. This place in the wilderness. 
hoping that someday you might, that I might see you again. You're real. I can't believe it. I had decided that you didn't. I stopped believing in you. My father used to say that you were a demon. But I told him only an angel could be so kind and beautiful. Don't call me that. I'm not an angel. And you, I still can't believe you're here. You meant everything to me once. My friend, my, my secret friend in the woods. My only friend. I missed you so much. When we were kids, I, I never asked or even cared, but now, what are you, Kadonai? I'm a Nephite, a warrior in the army of Captain Gidgidonai. This is my outpost. I watch for enemy spies. Enemy spies? Robbers of Gadianton. They infest these mountains and forests like vermin. They are vermin. My people have gathered all their possessions to Zarahemla and self -defense. To Zarahemla? Our capital. You cannot mean you do not know the great city of Z If not an angel, what are you? A girl. Just a girl. This is America. Utah. Over there's a little town called Leeds. There are no cities that way. Just jungles and mountains to the sea. There's no jungles here. Here? Here, where I am. I don't understand it. We, we occupy the same place, but, but right here. This spot of ground, it's not the same for you and me. It's like we're in two different, it's like- This is the wilderness of Zarahemla. Named for Zarahemla, a descendant of Mulek, son of King Zedekiah of Old Jerusalem, who crossed the great waters like Father Lehi Wh to escape the great- which part? Old Jerusalem. Your people came here from Israel. Yes. You're from the past. From what? From the past, from a time and place that hasn't existed for, I don't know, thousands of years. This is nonsense. Why am I from the past? Maybe you're from the past. No, sorry. Why are you so sure? The things you said. Old Jerusalem, Zarahemla. How long ago did your people cross the ocean? 600 years. And that would make it... Th the sixth month of the 19th year since the sign was given of the birth of Jesus the Messiah. What? You've never heard of Jesus the Messiah? No, I've heard of him. It's just that I never thought... Kira! Yeah! Would... It's all right. It's my brother. He must keep his voice down or these entire woods will be swarming with Gadiantins. I'll go to him. Actually, I just came here to warn you. There's people coming here. Gadiantins? <sighs> Geologists. People from my world, they're... Never mind, just stay away from here for a little while, a day or two. I can't desert my post. I would be reprimanded or, or flogged. Then hide, please. If they found you here, there's no yeah. telling... I have to go. Wait! <laughs> Through that way, go back. I'm stuck. And who are you talking to? No one. Stay there. I'm coming around. I know what I heard. No, you don't. Did you really see someone, Kara? One of Grandpa's ghosts? No, th there's nobody. All right, everybody just chill out. descendant of Nephi. Their tribe once lived in ancient America. Where did you hear that word? I don't remember exactly. On TV or something. Hmm. Well, the Nephites were a powerful nation. They built cities and ships, temples. Their civilization lasted a thousand years. What happened to them? They were destroyed. By who? Lamanites, descendants of Laman. Nephi and Laman were brothers, but they became bitter enemies. The feud was carried on by their children and their children's children. How did they live? We're not sure. Somewhere in this hemisphere, but uh, most think Central or South America. But not here. You mean Utah? No. Maybe some of them did. We don't know for sure. Were there ever jungles here? <laughs> Maybe 65 million years ago. Why haven't I ever heard of these tribes? 
guess you gotta be a Mormon. How do Mormons know? General Authority Edition, 1888. First one they ever broke down into chapters and verses. Francis M. Lyman of the Quorum of Twelve Apostles was its first owner. And if you're careful, you're welcome to read it. In the cry of my heart leads for I'm sorry. I shouldn't have frightened you. I can feel you. I don't understand. It's like before. Sometimes I could touch you, and sometimes I, I, I couldn't. The rift must be widening. It's getting stronger. So it appears. For now. But if the earth rumbles again, it may not remain. You shouldn't look so distressed. The miracle has always been uncertain, unpredictable. Sorry. I guess I've just always been nervous around things that are uncertain and unpredictable. What is that? A book. About you, I think. Me? Your people. I can't read this. What language is this? Same when you're speaking. I speak the language of my father. You speak English. Or at least that's what I hear. <laughs> this is intense. I have no idea. Shh. Come with me. Now tell me, what is that place? Oh, get down. They might see you. It wasn't there yesterday. It's by Aunt Nichols' farmhouse. Like I said, the rift must be widening. I've been debating whether I should attack it. Please don't. But it's right in the path of the invasion. Excuse me? Oh, never mind. No one believes me anyway. Wait, is that all you see? Don't you see any of the other houses? My uncle's orchards? I see the hills of Gideon, the wilderness of Hermounts. And over there? Forests and jungles. Beyond is the great city of Zarahemla. Stop! You're there. You're at the edge of the rift. It must take him most of the valley now. Let's go back. Tell me of your people. Have they built many cities? Are your numbers great? More than I could count. Millions. Some cities are so big it would take days to walk from one end to the other. Days? That's astonishing. So where you're from is the Savior. Is Jesus Christ known of all men? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. So did he do all that my fathers and the prophets have taught? Did he save the world? I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I've never really believed in that kind of stuff. Never believed? How can you live after the Messiah has saved the world and not believe? Sorry, I guess I've just never been one of those hallelujah types. It's not me.
Before, when you were little, you were always so sad. Why? It was a sad time. My parents divorced, and then my father went away. Went away? It's not important. I understand. My own parents were killed, murdered by the same demons that seek to destroy my people. But I will fight them. I will do all I can to drive them from the face of this earth. Wow. That sounds heavy. You don't approve? I just don't think it could be good for anyone to feel so much hate. Hate? No. This is a struggle for survival. You know, no matter how many of them you kill, it won't bring them back. It won't change anything. To do nothing is weakness. I will change things. I will defend my people. Look, that's not what I meant. I'm... Wow. I'm sorry. It's just... Nothing lasts. Especially things you love. You can count on it. It sounds so lonely. Do you believe in nothing? Not really. Not much. <laughs> this is all so crazy. It's not real. You're not real. It could all go away in an instant. But it's here now. We're here. I can't trust that. I have to go. They'll come looking. But you'll be back, yes? Maybe. Yes. You see? You still have some faith, then? I was lost. This? It's a cartoon, but it's cool. Nah. Oh, man, yes, yes, I love this guy. It's rated R. So what? We buy a ticket for something else, then we do the old switch or move. Nah, if my mom caught me, I'd be toast. All right, fine, let's just see this one. It's PG-13, so I'm not 13. You've got to be kidding. My mom says for some movies like that, I'll never be 13. That's child abuse. Man, just forget it. And after the Messiah shall come, there shall be signs given unto my people of his birth, and also of his death and resurrection. And great and terrible shall that day be unto the wicked. Hello? Uh, I need to talk to Spree. He's not here. He asked me to take his messages. It's Brock. He'll know who I am. Just tell him to come get me. Right away. Where are you? I'll give you directions. Ready? Behold, I prophesy unto you concerning the last days. out there the rooster ones yes these are your good ones I want them in here now in the wash with bleach Dang it, And there are also secret combinations, even as in times of old, according to the combinations of the devil. For he is the foundation of all these things. 
What are they? They're the foundation of murder and works of darkness. Yea, and he leadeth them by the neck with a flaxen cord. Until he bindeth them with his strong cords forever. His face was painted red like blood, and he wore a helmet in the shape of a skull. A Gadiantan spy. Gadiantans? I thought your enemies were Lamanites. Not in my lifetime. Although many Gadiantans are Lamanites. Nephites, too. They're a secret society. Sorcerers and murderers. They swear bloody oaths, hide their crimes, and destroy anything that threatens them. Especially anything of God or his Christ. Your people may not understand such things. No, they understand, unfortunately. Their numbers increased in our lands until they became too numerous. Those who would not join them were forced to gather into one body. Now, the armies of the Gadiantans prepare to attack. The invasion? Yes. Our generals say the attack will come from the mountains, just as Lamanite armies of long ago. But if you've seen a spy, it's further proof that I've been right all along. They have to believe me now. And you're the only one guarding this entire area. Of course not. There are others. I can signal them with this. I'm the only one stationed in this particular valley. No one thinks it's important. Too congested and full of briars. But that's exactly its advantage. If I were old Gideon High, I'd send my... Their leader. If I were Gideon High, I'd send my army creeping right through here under the cover of these trees. When would this happen? Some say next spring. I say sooner. We burned our crops before gathering to Zarahemla. The Gadiantans are too lazy to do honest work, so they're starving. They could attack at any moment. I must tell my captain. Sakira, you must warn your family. If there's trouble, blow this with all your wind and strength. The lookout on the next ridge will hear it and sound another warning. Then another will sound until the entire Nephite army is alerted. I won't be long. One.
What is he? Unknown. A Nephite? Does he look like a Nephite? One of the children of the fortress. The one with the lights and the music. Hold your tongues. What are you? What am I? Are you a specter? A devil child? Not the last time I looked. What are you doing in the woods? Walking! Who is... who is that? He's not important. A slave awaiting death. What have you done to him? Same as we'll do to you. We're wasting time here. Gideon I will be coming through here in the next... Silence, Bakan! Are you a complete idiot? Speak in the tongue of the knee horse! Forgive me, Lord Kush. I will use the secret tongue. Our army will pass through here in a few hours. The escaped slave has been recaptured, but the Nephite watchman lives. We are to kill anyone who might sound a warning. But the Nephite is not at his post. This boy has seen us. Execute him and the slave right now. Uh, I won't tell anybody about the uh, about the army. I, I swear you I... You understood us? How did he understand? A demon! Where did you learn the tongue of the Nihors? Uh, I, I can't say really. Slay I... him. Cut his throat. You can't kill a phantom. Watch me. Don't be a fool, Bakan. His body will be found here. The Nephites will investigate. The invasion will be revealed. He knows the secret language. He's like the bearded slave, a sorcerer of tongues. He's a child of the underworld. Gideon and I will decide. It's his, isn't it? It belonged to my father. I'm dumb dog. Grandpa says you were with him the day he disappeared. That's right. We were hunting. <laughs> he, he shot a bull elk without the proper license. Uh, I think old Chris just wanted to kill something that day. Didn't matter what. I'm gonna give your pork chop to the dog. Give me a minute, will ya? I knew his life was a mess. I, like everybody else, I just figured he'd had enough of it all and took off. Didn't anybody search? We all searched, Kara. There was no sign of him. Or the elk. But Grandpa, you said those woods are a special place, an ancient place. What if my father didn't leave Brock and me? What if he crossed over and couldn't get back? What if he's been there for 12 years? Yeah, listen to what you're saying. I know those woods are strange. Unusual things happen, but... More unusual than you know. You guys are from that green jungle place, right? W what's your name? I, I am Chris. Don't speak to him. This isn't right. Of course it's right. Same way we came. Keep walking. By all the gods, what is happening? I told you it was wrong. <laughs> Are you guys lost? Silence! The demon boy! He did this! He changed it! Where are we? What have you done to us? No. Nothing! Don't you get it? You've, like, passed through a new dimension. At that end of the hall, I can pass into your world. Up here, it's just the opposite. <laughs> you guys don't watch that much Star Trek or X-Files, do you? We must find Gideon High and his army. Leeds. What'd you say? Utah. What are these words? What is down there? Nothing. People. Houses. Have you been there? Is there food? Yes, yes, there's lots of it. Then you will take us. I know it sounds insane, but it's like a, like a bubble over the entire hollow. The energy field runs several hundred feet on either side of the fault line. As of last night, it includes Uncle Drew's house, but it may grow wider. Unbelievable. You don't believe me. Well, that's just it. I do. When was it this Nephite? Uh, Kedonai. Kedonai. What year did he say it was in his century? He said it was the sixth month of the 19th year since the birth of the Messiah. Interesting. Grandpa, do you think my father could still be alive? I don't know. I want to read a little bit. But what if Kedonai is right? What if an invasion is really headed this way, right to Kermininger's house? Calm down. I'm sure no one's in any immediate danger.
One is dead. You will find us food and take us back to where we were this morning. Understand? Where's Brock? I thought he was with you. Kira. We need to talk. What do you mean with me? Well, he saw you leave this morning and he said he was going to follow you. Kira. Kira! There goes a payday. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. Do you need any company? <laughs> nah, this might uh, require a little privacy. What are they? Secure the house. Hmm? Simone? Find that gym bag. All right, let's go, man. Let's go. From. Don't trust him. He's defied us. He must die. Let's go. What happened? This isn't their world. They can't pass through here. I don't get it. Some places are entrances, some are exits. And some, like this, yeah! are just windows. But you can't predict it. How powerful it will grow, how it will change, 
or when it will disappear. Come on, we've got to cross the hall. So it is true. Now from here, I mean from today, from my turn. What's your name, boy? Black McConnell. What did you say? Brock McConnell. My uncle's house is about a mile through there. How old are you? Eleven. You have a sister? Yeah, Kira. Sakira. So yeah, how'd you know? We have to keep moving. Come on. And it was in the sixth month. And behold, great and terrible was the day that they did come up to battle. And they were girded about after the manner of robbers. And they had a lambskin about their loins. And they were dyed in blood. And great and terrible was the appearance of the armies of Gideon. Six months. Nineteenth year. Tickled to see me. What are you doing here, Hitch? How did you find us? Your brother invited us. He has something for me. He has nothing for you. Leave! Brown canvas bag? Huh? Very yay big? You've seen it? Oh, so you have. <laughs> oh, he's so unfriendly. A stick, huh? No Jackie Chan, no Bruce Lee, no Taekwondo. What's in the bag? Nothing much. Just a quarter million dollars street value. Stay back. <laughs> Come back with us, okay? We have some fun. We stop in Vegas, roll some dice, take in some shows. outfit, Holmes. Get on that. Who is he? No, never mind. I'm so glad you're here. I couldn't convince him, Sakira. I told them about the Gideonton spy. They're still convinced that Gideon and I will invade from the mountains. I don't know, Brock is missing. Your brother? No! 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 Come here, Mom. Come on! Come on! Hey! What's wrong? I killed someone! Something, an Indian, I don't... You got the bag? Huh? Still haven't found it yet. Where's your brother, Kira? Hmm? Where's my bag? Kira? Where's your brother? Okay? No, look at me. You're not going anywhere, mommy. Okay? Now tell me where your brother is, okay? I want my bag. Lobo! Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Ah! No, ma, calm down. Ah! Hey, Ese, come on in and join the party, man.
Brock. Are, are you the man who talked to my sister? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Are you hit? Grandpa Lee, we have to get help. We have to go back there. There's a man with a long beard. One emergency at a time, grandson. Oh, what hit me? Bullet, I'm afraid, but <laughs> you've got yourself a guardian angel, my friend. There's your bullet. Never seen one of those before, have you? You really are a Nephi. Where's Sakura? Look, those people who've got Sakura have got guns. More bullets! Oh, wait! Wait! I have to rescue her! All right. Then let us help you. It's a quarter million dollars, okay? Purest great Colombian north of Tijuana, stolen by that cockroach spree. Huh? How long are we gonna wait, Hitch? As long as it takes! What if he saw us coming? What if he saw us coming and ditched? Then I'm gonna start shooting someone every 10 minutes. Check it out. Come on! Come on! Come on! Hello. Are you sure you want to use those? Might mess up this fine upholstery. Better be there, kid, huh? Or else you're gonna be at a barbecue with Spree, with the man upstairs, huh? You killed Spree? I just handed over, I say! Ah. Ah! 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 Kira! Kira, we... Kira, we have to go back there! I met this guy! He saved my life! He knows you! Wait, what, what did he look like? Uh, gray beard, long hair. The, they said he was a slave. He was attacked by these men with painted faces, painted in blood. Gideon High's army. There's more of them! They're coming this way! The warning trumpet, where is it? This man could be my father! You must tell me! The trumpet! <laughs> Do you own a ride, boss? No, that's all right. I'll walk. You, you sure? I mean, you, you know the way, Mr. Whitman? To my own house? <laughs> I should think so. <laughs> Shut up! Shut her up! Tasha, give the baby to me. I'll take her. No! Sit down. Who's up there?
stopped right there if I were you. Where did it fall? Uh, in there, I think. Children, go to the van. Long 
Revenge story. Suffice it to say, don't stand around arguing about who slays the captive. I escape, even steal a weapon. They're coming, come on. Go! All of you leave here. Hurt. I can still run. Our army is also coming. Sekiro, we have to go. Go! out there too. And that? Cadona, he's out there. I know. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. It will be all right. There's so much to tell you. Everything is not all right. Rock and trouble. It's okay. We'll work it out. We're together. That's what matters. I won't leave you again. Gone. The whistlers. They're gone. Kira! Roll up! Hello, Dad. Chris? <laughs> oh, poor Chris. Oh, my son. Redeemer, I have got a question I feel forgotten, fading, holding on No voice seems near as I pray All my illusions, visions, dreams withdrawn So I'm wondering... It's gone. What you'd say Rift Will you it's return gone. to me Today Savior Redeemer I Don't have the answers Redeemer I Can't find the answers Nothing I ponder 
touch or see is real the sky eternally gray these scars i gave myself may never heal so i'm asking hey. Nothing lost. Yeah. And then a light breaks forth. My soul is singing. The darkness flees <laughs> from the dawn. I see the light of thy creation coming on. Yeah. <laughs> Secure. Let's go. Secure. You're all right. The battle was won. Gideon I is dead. It's because of you. <laughs> you knew all along. Your father and brother? All right. They're, they're here. Did you see them? They're just fading. But not forever. They won't fade forever. You can't leave me again. Safi, you must believe. I love you too, Sakira. What am I supposed to do? Learn of me. The book. Learn of my people. Of the Messiah. We'll meet again. We will meet again. I believe it. I know it. Goodbye, my little angel.
misread the message in the clouds at the sun's first ray. So long I watched my shining hope slowly fade away. But it's okay with me. I paid a ransom for old stone. His restless reasons tugged his shoulder and He's gone so long I wondered why love's fortune left me alone Now it's okay with me It's okay with me, the pain has helped me see Nothing worries me, the truth has set me free It's okay with me Finally, finally, finally found me. Finally, you found me and took my breath away. Finally, found me. Forever surround me. Put your arms round me and hold me close today. Finally, found me. my sweetest prize it was only in my sleep that i could see your eyes and that's okay with me i watched a million waves crash on the shore but never one brought me the ship that i've been searching for the one with you Against the sail so bright I can't ignore And that's okay with me It's okay with me The winds have heard my plea Come and shelter me My eyes at last can see It's okay with me Finally, finally Finally found Sacred you and 